Greetings YouTube, it's a quick update on Tuesday. I'm going to put my PayPal... I don't know if you can see that red kite. Whoa. It's a beauty. Sorry, I'm going to put my PayPal email address in the top corner because I've run out of money and I need an 8mm drill bit or two to finish the, the uh, holes and I need two more tins of spray paint so if anyone can help out on that score that would be amazing. With regards to, I'm just going to take the blades off a second. One job I do need to do, uh, this at the moment won't actually fit on over here properly. I just wanted to show you, you can see how tight it is on the, that's partially due to paint, but there's something else inhibiting it and I don't really want to grind this down, but we, that's not a serious problem. Obviously we'll have to drew, drew, drill two holes at the front of the uh, shaft for this to go on. And what we'll do is we'll put it on and then I use a punch and the punch will come through, mark the holes, uh, then we'll remove it and drill the holes in the shaft. Here's what, here's what I've done so far, which is all I could do in the absence of a 8mm drill bit. So I marked everything up perfectly with a punch and then a 2mm drill bit and then I've created this using a 10mm uh, which fits over perfectly and then I'm going to drill an 8mm in the centre. Uh, why I wanted to use the 10mm, it, it, it sort of makes a larger area for the grub screw to fall into. So when I get the 8mm drill bit, I'll drill down and it'll look a bit more like that. And there's the one for the gear. So yeah, that's good, but if anyone can help out with the donation so I'll get those drill bits and the paint. Uh, get the blade hub cleaned out in the middle or ground down on the shaft and then those two holes and then it's basically ready it's all lined up you know <clears throat> like I said it's always about how easy it is to turn by hand obviously there's no chain on it so it's quite easy now but even with a chain on it feels okay so yeah that did exactly the same here and everything everything's lined up perfectly so that's the main thing an eight mil drill bit's going to go straight in that hole uh, there's a couple of things with regards to the tower. So this is the top of the tower. This is the thing that I made. I was wondering where this plate was, you know. I could have used this plate. I thought about that for the frame. And I thought, oh, I must have lost it or chucked it, but it was sitting on top of here. So anyway, I made this to interface with the Chinese wind turbine at the time, which had the six holes. Let me just get rid of that before I take it off. So what this means is that the actual turbine was a foot off here and the reason I'm saying about that is it's extra clearance from the wires uh, so when we put the new one on the blades are going to be closer to the wires if that's the case then this thing will have to get moved down a bit but we won't know really until it, it goes up now this is the top of the tower obviously and so the new lot will fit over there and the bottom of the bearing will come to about here and then you'll see that's not far away even though the blades go out at an angle. The other thing is when the, the reason everything has to be super secure is when the frame goes on uh, because the tail's so heavy as the tower's going up all the weight's going to be uh, going down and if the tower's bouncing up and down a bit all that extra weight may shake something loose so that's why it has to be all super super solid that's about it with the tower really uh so might have to move this down and adjust that but everything's ready to go on there no problem i don't know if you can see that where i welded a collar inside and that's the cables going down need to put a new cable in at some stage so that, that can be a mission of a job because there's bits on side where it's well welded and there might be something poking through on the inside so you can see from here to here, that's the sort of extra bit on the top of the tower that I'm talking about that doesn't really exist here. Because remember that actually sits right on top of the tower. Yeah, I think that paint, that paint comes out pretty nice. You know, I dig the sort of industrial look. But yeah, that's about it for now. I mean, really, I should sort these bolts out here, but they're all in very tight. I don't really need to sort out anything for here now because I'm happy with uh, this for holding the 
motor in. So I think it seems to have worked out pretty well. Maybe uh, some stainless steel ones would be a good investment. Nothing really weird or unusual there that I've got to deal with. <coughs> Excuse me. I did note that that isn't going all the way through, but that isn't a problem because if you look, there's about that's about 35 mil and there's only about six or seven mil that isn't in so i've got no problems with that i wanted to make sure there was enough room off the front because say we're running just a big set of blades i could put them here if i want they take up about that much room this is the other blade hub uh, which is obviously looking a bit different from when you last saw it uh, that's quite cool really design i just got a a uh, 40 mil hole saw and cut it straight out of the disc. I remember I got two discs and I messed one of them up, but this one was pretty much spot on. And then a collar is welded in there, which is kind of half inside and half outside. And then another collar is welded on top, which has uh, bolts in it, you can see. I obviously saw that and thought, ah, oh, if I weld any more, it's going to mess up the inside of the bolt, but I will. I will have to do that but this has turned out to be quite cool really then obviously those blades bolt on like so super easy and then that if i wanted to use it that one would go on like that and then the bolts just get tightened up because of the light weight of the hub and the blades it doesn't really need recesses in the drive shaft it can be done just by tightening these two up properly might be a good idea I could put another collar on top and then could double weld everything and wouldn't be getting so close to the I'm going to show you that again because that's what I mean about when you're trying to weld stuff on you get so close to just completely destroying the whole the whole bolt that you're trying to fix most people wouldn't do it I guess but anyway would like to give the tail a nice lick of paint if we can get any more uh, the, yeah there's hardly anything to do and then I'll have to get two people to help uh, I showed you this with the struts which feels a lot better now to get that flush to the sorry which feels a lot better to get it flush to the side of the frame uh, there's the bolt which holds the motor cage in uh, that's about it it will need a it'll need an m16 bolt on here uh, but yeah that's pretty much it she's ready to go Sweet, yeah, if you can help out with the donations, that would be much appreciated, and I'll see you very soon.